At the end of September 2021, Microsoft has released a major update for its whiteboard, enhancing the hybrid work and visual communication experience. In this video, I'm going to share with you what's new in Microsoft Whiteboard. First of all, a brand new user interface that is clean and offers improved functionality. But there is much more, like the addition of more than 40 new templates that you can use, for example, for brainstorming or project updates. Eight new reactions to engage your audience more easily and quickly express your thoughts and feelings. New sticky notes and note grades, the possibility of inserting images. New inking tools with new colors, ink to shape or to straight lines. And the new ink to arrow tool, a simple one that is already one of my favorites. These are just some of the features that I'm going to share with you in the video. But the good news is that Microsoft has announced the imminent release of other features, like adding documents or seeing other participants' cursor. So if you want to be among the first ones to learn about the new releases, hit the subscribe button so I'll keep you posted. So let's go and learn everything about the new Microsoft Whiteboard. Let's start by opening the new Microsoft Whiteboard. You can do that from within a Teams meeting or by opening the app or open it in a web browser window. Since my app has not updated yet, I will use this last option. To do that, go to whiteboard.office.com and then you'll be able to access with your Office 365 account. Let's now create a new Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard has now a brand new user interface. At the top, you'll find a Home button that will take you to the previous window, an Undo and Redo buttons, and then the name of your whiteboard. So let's change it to Test Whiteboard. The most evident change is in the Tool tabs at the left of the screen. As you open a whiteboard, the Create options will be shown to you. Here you'll find Notes, Text, Shapes, Reactions, Images and Templates. The other set of tools are the Inking tools. The tab now appears at the top of the whiteboard. And the last tool here is the Select tool to select objects. If we go to the Settings icon at the right of the whiteboard, we'll find additional options, like Export an image of the whiteboard as PNG, the Enhance Inked Shapes Automatically feature, the option to let other participants edit the board, Format Background, Send Feedback, Help, Start Onboarding Tour, About Whiteboard, and then the option to open the whiteboard in the app. Let's start exploring the new features. The first one is templates. Microsoft has now added more than 40 new templates for brainstorming, problem solving, design and research, strategy, project planning, retrospective, games, workshop and learning. They all have very simple but functional graphics. I'll choose a daily stand-up template and I'll use it to simulate a team update on a very important project. That is the making of this video. The template comes with a title and a little description on how you should use it. With my other team member, which is just me logging in from mobile, we'll update each other on what we did yesterday, what we're doing today and what are the blockers. So in order to collaborate as a team, I will have to share the whiteboard with my other teammate. You go to the top and click on the share icon. Toggle share link on and then copy the link. I'm sending it to myself and I will be logging in from my mobile. So let's have a quick look at what the mobile experience looks like. You can zoom in and out the whiteboard with your fingers. And the first thing I'm noticing is that the format of the word yesterday appears different on mobile. It's not so bad, but I would have expected a better responsive design. The create options are here placed at the bottom right. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. And let's insert the text to make clear what the whiteboard is about. Click on the text icon and I'll just write make a video on new Microsoft Whiteboard. I can change the color of the text, but there is not much more I can do to format the text. I can't change the font and can't make it bold, italic or underlined, for example. You can make it bigger by dragging the edges of the text box, but you cannot choose a precise font size. To make the text stand out, I want to place a container around it. So I'll go to Shapes, select the rectangle and insert it. In the object options, I can send it back, so the text appears on top of it. I'm having a little hard time selecting the right object. Now the text is on top of the rectangle, and if I want to edit the rectangle, then I have to move the text away from it to select it. I couldn't find a different way of doing it, and this is a bit annoying. Anyway, let's change the color to yellow, reposition the text above it, and make the text black. 
Another new feature of Microsoft Whiteboard are more sticky notes color options and sticky note grids. Let's start by using the sticky notes that came with the template. Click on the first one and let's insert some text to describe what I've done yesterday. That was try all new whiteboard features. Again, there is no format I can apply to this text and the only thing I can do is change the sticky note color. My teammate is also providing an update on what he did yesterday. He set up video lights and microphone. As you see, it's very easy to edit a sticky note on mobile. Let's keep adding some new activities on what we did yesterday and what we're working on today. Text is a bit small and I like to make it bigger. Unfortunately, the only way of doing it is by enlarging the size of the sticky note, which is not exactly what I wanted to do. So let's put it back to the original size. I'm also adding two blockers for the project. I'm having some troubles with the microphone and I don't think I will have enough time to edit the video. To expand on what's included in the record video activity, I want to add some more granular information. To do that, I can just add a new sticky note, but I want to try the new note grids feature. Note grids are basically a container with sticky notes inside. You can give a name to the note grid, delete or add sticky notes, but you can't move them out of the container. I now want to make it clear that this list of sub-activities refers to the record video action. I can do that by selecting an arrow shape, for example, and change the fill or outline color. But what I want to show you are the inking tools. I will not review the use of inking tools for handwriting or drawing with a pen and tablet, as you'll find this information in one of my previous videos that I'm linking in the description below. What I will show you here is the new Ink to Arrow tool. It's a simple tool that allows you to draw a line and will automatically put an arrow at the end of it. I'll use red color to link these two activities and then the rainbow color effect to link voiceover to one of the blockers. There's also a highlighter tool and the lasso tool. Once you've drawn your arrow, you can still change its size, position and rotation. Let's now look at another new feature. In the previous version of the whiteboard, the app was recognizing whether you were drawing a specific shape. Now it will not change your hand-drawn shapes into perfect shapes, but it will instead make them nicer. Let's see what I mean with an example. I'll select the pen tool, choose a color and a size. If I draw an ugly triangle with my mouse, then this will be automatically changed into a nice triangle with straight lines. I'll use this shape to draw the attention on this very important blocker. And to add even more emphasis on this, I'll draw a round container around the icon. The app automatically beautifies the container and transforms it into a nice ellipse. And let me place it behind the sticky note. The next new feature I'm introducing you to is the reactions. There are eight new reactions available that you can use for voting, agreeing or disagreeing on something and expressing your thoughts and feelings. I'll put a star on the not having enough time blocker and make it bigger because I think this is really important. I will also put a question mark on the microphone blocker. My teammate on mobile is also adding a star. He also thinks that the time constraint is important. So how can we overcome now the blockers? So let's see if we have some ideas. To draw a straight line, just press shift and then hold the mouse. Another new feature is that we can now add images. I'll take a picture of my microphone and indicate the part that is broken. We could now brainstorm on some ideas on how to fix this. Another new available feature is that you can now more easily align objects for a better and cleaner look. Next new feature is the background. You could insert different types of grids or simply change the color. That can be done for aesthetic reasons, but if you're using a program like OBS and want to make a transparent whiteboard effect, then you can use a green background to key it out. If you want to know more about this, I have a video that I will link in the description. So what is that I like about the new Microsoft whiteboard? And what are the points that, in my mind, still need some improvement? On the positive side, I like that there are new templates, that it's possible to use the whiteboard by a web, app, or within a Teams call, and that it's fully integrated into Office 365. So if you have an Office 365 account, then it's free. I like the inking colors, the hand drawing experience on tablet, and the new ink to arrow, draw straight line, and enhance ink shape tools. What I think still needs to be improved and makes Microsoft Whiteboard not at the level of other whiteboards like Miro, Mural, or Klaxoon is that selecting and moving objects, it's a bit difficult. Also, the zoom in and out and the focus on the work era is not at the level of the other whiteboards yet. 
I was also trying to copy paste objects, but it didn't seem to work. The new node grids are good, but they lack the possibility of customization. There is no proper voting system and no timer. And overall, the look and feel is nice, but I think that the other whiteboards I mentioned before are still better. There are no connectors. It's not possible to share documents, but only images, even though I think this feature is coming soon. And the text formatting is very, very limited. So all in all, the Microsoft whiteboard was already a good one. And with the new improvements, it has become even better. It's still not at the level of the top performing whiteboards. But for those who are just starting with whiteboarding, it's definitely the go-to option for me. Use it, see what you're liking, and what you're missing. And when and if you're ready to make the next step, then you can start considering paying for a subscription for a top-level whiteboard. Now, if you want to know which are the top-level whiteboards, just wait a couple of seconds and find it out in my suggested next videos. If you want to stay up to date with the world of digital whiteboards, then subscribe to my channel. What you can do for you right now is to watch this next video to further enhance your productivity and communication skills. See you in my next digital tip.